Well, the SBA provides credit enhancements that help the banks provide financing to the, to the small businesses. Um, they do that through a, several different programs that they have, uh, all that we employ around here at Farmers Bank. Um, mostly the 7A program, probably the largest, most active program. Uh, it's a guaranteed loan program. And um, in that case, what they do is they accept a lower down payment, which is a 10% equity from the customer, and then they provide a guarantee to the bank. Uh, so that's obviously an enhancement that allows us maybe to provide credit when otherwise we wouldn't be uh, able to do that. Yeah, the 504 is, a, is another program that we use quite extensively. Sure. Uh, it's, it's a direct loan from the SBA, which is a little different from the 7A, which is the guarantee. Uh, the 504, the, uh, the bank provides 50% of the project. The 504 provides 40%, which is a direct loan from the SBA, generally at a lower fixed rate, which is advantageous to the small business, and then a 10% equity position there, 50, 40, 10, which is really where the 504 comes from. Um, good program. Use it more for like larger uh, SBA type financing, real estate acquisitions, uh, real estate uh, additions, uh, business expansions. Okay. Um, but it can be used for a number of different uh, number of different products or a number of different sources in that uh, in, in that financing. Those are done through um, community development organizations like Valley Partners, um, which is the former Mahoney Valley Economic Development Corporation. Uh, they get involved on the, on the direct loan side, that 40%, that's, that portion is, uh, is handled through uh, someone like Mahoney Valley or Valley Partners. The 7A programs you know, are obviously to qualified borrowers and, and, and they can look up the qualifications. Um, but they're used for various number of things, you know, business expansions, equipment, uh, asset purchases of any kind, working capital in some cases. Uh, so those are probably a little bit broader in, in the types of financing that they can be provided uh, with a 7A. Micro loans are, are generally uh, smaller loans uh, to, to smaller businesses. Um, I think they're up to $50,000. Uh, they can be used again for a variety of purposes. Um, you know, inventory, uh, working capital, equipment, uh, various business expansion needs. So uh, uh, those are direct loans from the SBA. A uh, little bit different again than the, than the guarantee or the 504. Well, the benefits that SBA has, and, and one of them probably worth mentioning is, are the small business development centers, which are located at some of the local universities, YSU, uh, Kent State Trumbull has one, um, but they are, they are volunteer organizations that help businesses put together plans, uh, financing, they do market research, um, and if somebody wanted to look into those, obviously a very valuable resource at no cost that they can go to and uh, get some professional consultation on um, you know, various types of financing and the type of financing they might need in a business plan. Very beneficial to the businesses. Uh, SBA obviously allows us to provide competitive terms with the 504. That, that portion is, uh, uh, is done through a bond issue at the SBA as a direct loan, so it's a very competitive fixed rate. Uh, you know, because of the guarantee, obviously, it changes the credit profile for us, allows us to provide uh, maybe better financing terms than we would otherwise, longer, uh, uh, longer terms and, 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 and better rates. Um, and, and the biggest one probably for a lot of small businesses is, you know, the SBA generally requires a 10% equity position, whereas the bank may require 20 to 30. So that cash down payment is always one of the biggest hurdles for a small business. And with that lower equity contribution, a lot of times is a big factor in, in why they would choose that option.